Construction of the I-210 Gold Line Bridge began in the summer of 2011 and is now more than halfway complete. The bridge is being built by Skanska USA, the design builder selected by the Metro Gold Line Foothill Extension Construction Authority for the project. Once complete, this important bridge will provide a rail connection between the existing Sierra Madre Villa Gold Line Station in the median of the I-210 freeway and the future Arcadia Station, the first new stop along the Foothill Extension light rail project from Pasadena to Azusa. This video is part of a series of construction updates posted by the Construction Authority to help keep you updated on the status of construction and how it might impact you in the coming months. Here is a quick overview of what has been accomplished to date and what you can expect during April, May, and June of this year. Well, during the past uh, two to three months, there's been a, a significant amount of progress on this project. We've come out of the ground. Uh, I think last time we talked, we had uh, some columns and abutments constructed, but as you can see behind us now, contractors made tremendous progress, erected the false work, installed the uh, wooden working platform or the soffit forms on top of the uh, false work and uh, made uh, significant progress in constructing the formwork, which will form the concrete for the uh, eventual structure. Here is a comprehensive recap of the January through March construction activities. The false work is the temporary supports uh, of the wood deck that will support the project while the uh, formwork is being constructed and the eventual concrete placement. These time-lapse images were taken over the period when the false work was erected. As you can see, the initial work began on either side of the eastbound freeway as the temporary columns were built. Concurrent with this installation, crews were also completing work on the two bridge abutments which support each end of the bridge. These will be the ingress and egress points for the bridge on either side of the freeway. At this point, the first of 50 90 to 100 foot long steel beams were lifted and placed atop the false work columns. Each beam weighed nearly 16 tons and required closure of the eastbound I-210 freeway to install. This project had a lot of challenges with getting a lot of work done in, in a short period of time, which necessitated the need to have crews working both day and at night. As the installation continued, 300 feet of false work over the freeway lanes created a temporary tunnel over which the permanent bridge would be built. Made of wood and steel, the false work installation was a huge project in itself. It was designed and built specifically for this bridge project and must be strong enough to support the working craftsmen as well as the weight of the 5,000 tons of concrete as it is poured. The false work took approximately two months to get fully assembled and uh, we brought in uh, well over two and a half million pounds of, of steel and timber to accomplish that task. With the beams in place, Crews can now work on top of the false work, creating a working deck or platform that will be used during the next phase of work, installation of the form where the concrete will be placed. In addition to the false work as being a significant accomplishment during this time period, you see behind us the form work going up for what we call the outrigger bend, which will eventually be this large concrete structure that straddles the 210 freeway. We'll have approximately 250,000 pounds of rebar to tie into this outrigger bend. So it's, it's in itself, it's, it's quite an accomplishment, just this one portion of the bridge. Here is what you can expect during April, May, and June 2012. Uh, during the next couple of months, the contractor will, uh, first of all, complete the erection of the formwork. That is the, uh, the wooden forms that will shape the uh, construction of the bridge. The bridge is going to be about uh, nine feet deep. So what we're standing on is actually going to be the floor, if you will, of the, of the structure. We call it the soffit. The concrete will be about nine inches thick. And then to our sides, you see these walls that are being placed that will form the exterior walls of the bridge. We call it the exterior girders. And in terms of where the trains will actually run, they'll be right at about the top of the level of, of what you see of these forms right now. The plan is to pour 2,100 yards in a single event. That requires a tremendous amount of logistical planning when you're working over a freeway that has a very limited window of time at which we can close it. Following the uh, construction of the bridge, the next major event is the removal of the false work. It took about six weeks to install the false work. It's gonna take also a significant amount of time to remove it. Uh, you can imagine now the weight of the bridge is now on the false work. That the false work has to be lowered 
and those temporary beams removed and it'll have to be done, most of it, at night while the freeway is shut down. There will be uh, anticipated five eastbound freeway closures between now and July. Uh, those freeway closures are necessary to uh, make final preparations for the concrete pour and for the concrete placement itself. We're, we're tracking very closely to what we anticipated early on in the project, a total of 60 full freeway closures for the duration of the project. We've got about 29, 30 to date so far, and, uh, and we think another 30 will, will be able to wrap this thing up. We've monitored the detour during the closures. We made some improvements with the help of the Arcadia Police Department, as well as with Caltrans. Uh, we were able to improve the signaling uh, for the detour traffic and to help motorists get back onto the freeway at Santa Anita. Contractors made a lot of progress. The public is now beginning to understand what this uh, project is really about the uh, size and scale of the job, and we look forward to the next two months to complete uh, the project. Visit the new Gold Line Bridge Facebook page to learn the latest information about the project. Or you can also view other videos and sign up to receive up-to-the-minute construction alerts to your cell phone at www.foothillextension.org or by calling the I-210 Gold Line Bridge toll-free hotline at 855-446-1160.